Hello, thanks for joining me for this national weather update. Chopping and changing the weather at the moment, as is fairly typical at this time of year. Lots of clouds smothering the UK during Wednesday. The swirl of cloud is an area of low pressure, but plenty of zones of cloud and areas of rain have been working their way in from the Atlantic. So it's a messy old picture. But as this weather front clears, Northern Ireland looking a bit brighter through Wednesday afternoon. A bit of brightness over northeast England, parts of southeast England, perhaps too. But outbreaks of rain covering a good part of Scotland, northwest England, Wales and at times the southwest. Fairly breezy conditions as well, but those breezes coming up from the southwest, so bringing pretty mild air. Temperatures, uh, even where it's raining, uh, reaching double figures or into the teens. And with a bit of brightness, we could easily get to 15, 16, perhaps even 17 Celsius in one or two places. But it is a fairly wet evening for most. The rain moving into northeast England, across eastern Scotland, then another zone of rain down to the southwest. Again, some heavy bursts mixed in with that, pushing over the Midlands and into parts of eastern England by dawn. Turning a little clearer for Scotland and Northern Ireland through the night. Temperatures here could drop down into single figures, but certainly for most of England and Wales in urban areas will stay in double figures. So a pretty mild start to Thursday. Some early rain on the east coast of England, but that should scoot away fairly sharply. And overall, tomorrow is a much brighter day. Yes, there will still be some showers, but most places will see some decent spells of sunshine as the day wears on. The showers are likely to be hit and miss, but we could see some bands of showers developing over parts of Devon and Cornwall and extending up towards the southeast. So if you're caught under this line of showers, may turn out to be quite a wet day. The showers elsewhere tending to move through on a fairly brisk wind and as I said a bit brighter most places seeing a bit more in the way of blue sky compared to Wednesday there'll still be a bit of a breeze but temperatures pretty high for the time of year 16 17 degrees Celsius in the sunny spells obviously it'll turn cooler when the showers come along and there could be some heavy showers late in the day especially over parts of eastern England tending to move out into the North Sea during the evening and then eyes down to the southwest as another zone of wet weather moves in. Now this one is going to bring some heavy rain but also some gusty winds. You can see that swirl there. It's an area of low pressure looking quite nasty actually on the pressure charts. The strongest winds on its southern flank look like barreling into northern France but it could bring some very gusty conditions if it's a bit further north into parts of southern England and South Wales Thursday night and into Friday. It's certainly going to be bringing some outbreaks of rain, looking like quite a, a wet morning Friday morning across much of England and Wales. Perhaps a little drier and brighter for Scotland and parts of northern England, but certainly across the south, uh, not a very pleasant Friday morning. Gusty, gusty winds and outbreaks of rain. And temperatures, although still reasonably high into Friday, will obviously feel a lot cooler than Thursday with the wind and the rain. We're starting to see an easterly wind as well, which could bring a bit more mist and low cloud to some North Sea coasts during Friday and into the weekend. Plenty going on then. Keep up to date. Our 10 day trend forecast will look beyond the weekend and into next week. So hit subscribe if you're watching on YouTube.